Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News Tax Time Guide Use the Where's My Refund tool or IRS to go app to conveniently check tax refund status. But first, an attempt at a joke. I apologize in advance. In response to rumors of Nancy Pelosi being a witch, due to her comments regarding a potential truck convoy possibly planning on going to Washington, she responded that all Washington-bound convoy-related trucks and truckers will be towed. Angry environmentalists reacted, worried about the dangers of entering a new species of toad into the Washington ecosystem, insisting that Pelosi turn the truckers and their trucks into Great Basin Spadefoot toads, toads native to the area, or barring that the most common species found in Washington, that of Rana politicus, so often found in the halls of Congress. The same species of toad most United States unions have been turned into at this point. However, that species is quite poisonous. Just shaking the webbed hand of Rana politicus toad could result in a three-week acid trip. And we're not talking about a good trip either, like one you might get from a good psychedelic toad. We're talking about a deep, dark trip, man. Like wandering through Dante's Inferno stuff. COVID is the least of the dangers in that swamp. And as we know and have known for far more than a year, at least those following the science and not the swamp appointed official lab coat wearing frontmen who claim to actually be science, an absurd claim, instead of reporting the scientifically found empirical data, cloth masks won't even protect you from COVID, the least of the problems in the swamp. IR 2022-43 February 24, 2022 Washington, the Internal Revenue Service reminds taxpayers today that the fastest and easiest way to check on tax refunds is by using the Where's My Refund tool. There's a link to that tool here. It's on irs.gov, irs.gov, the IRS website, or through the IRS2Go mobile app, which is the super cool way to get there. You've got the app. Everybody will be happy with you and impressed if you have the IRS to go app this year more than ever before those who don't normally have to file a tax return may wish to do so to get the child related tax credits that were expanded by the American Rescue Plan. This includes the child tax credit and the child and dependent care credit. There's links to those items here if you want more information on them. Uh, refund updates filing electronically and using direct deposit is the safest and fastest way to file an accurate return and receive a tax refund so they're trying to get everything as automated as possible in part because they're kind of short on staff so they want to basically be able to automate everything and it is typically a faster way to do it so if you're expecting a refund and you want to get that refund fast you probably want to use tax software you might want to make sure that you fill out the tax return as accurately as possible in accordance with the documentation w-2s and the 1099s and so on and then you want to have the electronic or deposit automatically going into your system electronically with the direct deposit if any of those things don't go quite right then if it takes a, a person to actually review the tax return it could go on the back of the irs's ever increasing uh, inventory stack as they call it and there could be a substantial delay if you owe taxes i don't know maybe the easiest thing to do is to say, as long as they don't penalize you, I'll write you a check, fill you out a paper tax return, as long as I don't get hit with the sticks of penalties and interest and send it in if that goes into the end of the pile. For you guys over there, maybe I'm not as concerned. But even then, even if you're expecting to owe money, it's kind of nice that they that you can see them that they received the check and you can feel at least secure that it didn't get lost and they're not gonna then hit you with the stick of penalties and interest because they lost the check or something like that. Any case, Taxpayers can use Where's My Refund to start checking their refund status within 24 hours after an e file return is received or four weeks after the taxpayer mails a paper return. The tool's tracker displays progress through three phases. Phase one, return received. Two, refund approved. And three, refund sent. Refund timing. Most tax refunds are issued within 21 days. Um, however, some may take longer. There are several reasons this can happen. So they got the average refund. Remember that the average refund is an average. 21 days sounds like an average, right? So that means there could be outliers just in general. And uh, if it gets backed up for some reason, and then it goes into the end of the, of the stack, 
it's going to cause more problems. So you're going to try to avoid that if you're looking and depending on the refund. How can you do so? These are some things that could delay it. The return includes a claim for the earned income tax credit or additional child tax credit. You can't really avoid that one because <laughs> those are the big credits that they're, that they're actually advertising here. But the fact that the child tax credit and the earned income tax credit are refundable credits means they're more and more susceptible to people making misclaims. They're also kind of complicated to calculate, actually, and they are susceptible to fraudsters that are trying to uh, they've increased greatly the, the desirability for information to file fraudulent tax returns to try to get access to these kind of refundable credits. So they need to delay the tax returns a little bit to try to uh, reduce the, the level of fraudsters uh, that are going to try to you know take advantage of that and steal people's information in order to get those credits and whatnot. So that is just, there's nothing you can do about that because you're going to want those credits, of course, but that could take a little longer. The time between the IRS issuing the refund and the bank posting it to the account may vary since many banks do not process payments on weekends or holidays. So, you know, you could have a slight delay from the bank transfer, even if it's electronic, but that should be pretty small. <laughs> the return may require additional review. That's going to be the big one. If the return requires additional review, especially if there's something that doesn't quite line up, and last year, we know that there's stuff that didn't line up for some of the new changes, including the economic impact payment that's tied out to the recovery rebate credit. This time we have that same issue with the third round, as well as the advanced child tax credits and the changes there. So there are probably going to be errors with regards to those big changes and those prepayment kind of things. You want to avoid any kind of mathematical errors or calculation errors there, because if it requires a review, then that's when it could be a significant, I would think, uh, delay. The return may include errors or be incomplete. The return could be affected by identity theft or, or fraud. So obviously to avoid errors, you might want to try to use software instead of doing it by hand. And if, it, if there's fraud that takes place, we know there's an increased fraud component these days due to the fact that there's more money flowing out through, through the tax returns and these refundable credits. So if you're subject to fraud, if someone steals your identity, for example, and tries to file a fraudulent turn, return, well, then that's going to cause a significant problem as well that you'll have to work through. The IRS will contact taxpayers by mail uh, if more information is needed to process a returned earned income tax credit and the additional child tax credit. Due to changes to the tax law made by the uh, Protecting Americans from Tax Hikes Act, the PATH Act, <laughs> There's a link to that here. The IRS uh, can't issue earned income credit, EITC, or additional child tax credit, the ATC, ACTC, refunds before mid-February. So what they're trying to do with those credits, those are those big refundable credits. That's why you might have a delay if you're claiming those credits because they need a little bit more time at least to try to tamp down some of the problems with those credits, including a substantial amount of fraud that uh, of fraudulent claims trying to get get access to them these include the entire refund uh, not just part that's related to the credit claimed on the tax return so you might say well can't you give me the rest of the refund that's not related to those two things and they're saying no we're gonna you know delay the whole return and not give like a partial refund you can imagine that would take a lot more time and processing to do to try to give half the refund or something like that. So where's my refund and the IRS to go? There's links to that here. Are updated for most uh, early EITC slash ACTC filers with an estimated deposit date by February 19th if they file their taxes early. If they file or claim the EITC or the ACTC, they can expect to get their refund March 1st if they file the returns online, they choose to get their refund by direct deposit, and no issues were found with their return. Ignoring refund miss. Uh, some taxpayers mistakenly believe they can uh, expedite their refunds by, or by ordering a tax transcript, calling the IRS or calling the tax preparer. So you might think, hey, you know, something's happening here. I'm going to call someone. I'm going to call someone. I'm going to do something. I'm going to call my tax preparer. I'm going to order a transcript. I'm not sure where that one came in. I'm not sure why ordering a transcript would have been thought to increase it. But I can see why people would say, oh, I'm going to call the IRS. I'm going to call them. Well, if you try to call the IRS, their phone service is pretty backed up. So you're probably not going to get a hold of anyone. And even when you get a hold of someone, they're going to most likely say, it's being processed. They're going to look it up in their computer and it's going to say exactly what yours says when you go on the IRS 
where's my refund thing like whatever it says there that's probably what they're looking up on their side so trying to trying to get access to them is probably going to just cause you headache uh, and not get you anywhere the tax preparer has little to no uh, ability to do anything to, on their end as well in terms of the processing time on the irs side all they have control over is getting their tax return processed so you want to check with your tax preparer to make sure that it's sent in and they can check once again that it's been sent you can then check that on your end to see if on the irs on the refund status where's my refund tool to see if it's been accepted and and so on but uh past that point they're not going to be able to pressure the irs no 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 average taxpayer has that amount of leverage unless you're unless you're hiring some kind of super influential tax preparer <laughs> or something so ordering a tax transcript will not help a taxpayer get their refund faster or find out when they'll get their refund the information available on the where's my refund is the same information available to irs telephone assisters so again calling them it sounds like most likely won't give you any more information and it's going to cause you a huge headache because you will most likely be on hold for possibly a month <laughs> you know so in any case taxpayers can find answers to questions forms and instructions and easy to use tools at irs.gov this new release is part of a series called the tax time guide there's a link to that here a resource to help taxpayers file an accurate tax return additional help is available in publication 17 your federal income tax for individuals there's a link to that publications there's links to more resources down below including directory to federal tax return preparers with credentials and select qualifications choosing a tax professional i rs free file free tax return preparation for qualified taxpayers there's links to all that wonderful information here there'll be a link to this in the description